So I've finished my block and I've pressed this face down with a hot iron on a fluffy towel and now I'm ready to trim the excess. The patterns that we started with was a six inch applique block which means when this is sewn into a quilt it will end up at six inches. But we need to put seam allowance on it so there's a quarter inch here, a quarter inch here, so from this edge to this edge is six and a half inches. But I asked everyone to cut a seven inch square. And the reason why we cut this background bigger was to make sure that some of the fabric doesn't get sucked up when we applique, which usually happens. And so we would have enough fabric in order to sew it into our quilt square. And so now we need to trim. There's a couple of ways of doing this. I like to make what I call a jig. And I've used a big ruler. I've gone on to my pattern. One, two, three, four, five, six and a half, and I've taped a line. Same thing coming down. And then I found the middle mark at the center, and I've put a mark so my center is right where these two meet. And I can take that over to my star. Now, if I would have pulled the back out, there's a mark on my paper showing me where the center is, or I can just fold it, make a crease, fold it again, make a crease, and where those lines match is my center. I used a piece of tape there with an X on it to mark that spot. So I have this ready to go. I can take and line this up with that center mark and I can line these up, move it around. I look and I'm saying that there's this excess here. If I'm afraid to cut, I can always take my pencil and mark first just to make sure. So that's one way. But I know that most of you might not have a big ruler like that and at the beginning I recommended this 6x12. So you can also use the 6x12. I'm lining it up here. I've made a mark where my center is. Does not go all the way to the edge but that's okay because basically all I need is my center and I can either mark this and then turn it and mark this side or, if, uh, or I can cut it. So that's another way that I can, can find that. I can also cut out that pattern, put it over the top, figure out where that circle and star, and sometimes the center is going to move because of the way I've sewn, but the circle should be pretty easy. I can feel through here, I can pull it back and see, and then I can mark this with a pencil or just put the ruler on top and cut it off like that. And there's many more ways of, of doing that, but th those, are, those are some ways that might get you started.